Year after year, SOLIDWORKS raises the bar, and this time is no different. In 2024, there's a fresh wave of features and capabilities, and we're here to break it all down. We're going to cover them in focus sections, so to make sure you're in the loop on all of the enhancements, be sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified when the next breakdown is posted. In our last video, we discussed the enhancements to the SOLIDWORKS user interface. In this video, we'll be breaking down the latest and greatest with SOLIDWORKS parts and features. There's one enhancement in particular that is a real crowd pleaser, so be sure to watch on to learn more. The first enhancement we'll take a look at in 2024 for parts and features it comes with the revolved cut. You will now see that there's an option to flip side to cut with a revolved cut. This means that it will remove any material outside of the sketch that you choose. The next feature we'll take a look at has to do with bounding boxes. New with 2024, we can drop down the type of bounding box and see that there's a cylindrical option. This is going to be a game changer if you're commonly working with turned parts. We can see that it's added to the feature tree just as before with rectangular bounding boxes. Now my favorite feature of SOLIDWORKS 2024 is the ability to save a file two version years previous to the current. So in 2024, you'll be able to export a file to SOLIDWORKS 2023 and 2022, and that's just available from the File Save As menu. We'll go ahead and attempt to save this file to a SOLIDWORKS 2022 part. Now, it will only work if you do not have any features that are beyond that version year. So in this example, we added these new features that were new to 2024. It will warn you that these are incompatible with 2022, and you will have to go in and remove these if you'd like to export to an older version year. Once these have been removed, we can use the update and see that it's fully compatible with SOLIDWORKS 2022. We can then carry out that same process as File, Save As, and choose SOLIDWORKS 2022 as your export type. We'll go ahead and open up SOLIDWORKS 2022 to demonstrate that this does open up. Now let's go ahead and open this up in SOLIDWORKS 2022. And just to confirm, you can see here in the properties, we can go to the details panel and see that it is registered as a SOLIDWORKS 2022 file. And we can indeed open this into the SOLIDWORKS interface for 2022 as well. And that comes in with all of the features and is fully editable. For our next enhancement, we'll jump into a sketch. Now with 2024, when you click on an edge, you can get a preview of the dimension associated with that. And then you can click on that preview to dimension and apply that as a smart dimension to the sketch. Now this doesn't work with just single entities. If we hold control and select two entities, we will get an angle dimension. And of course, we're still able to add our constraints. So by selecting two edges, we still have the option to use our traditional SOLIDWORKS constraints. The next feature has to do with hole wizard. Previously with hole wizard, you had to have sketch points in a sketch to be able to define where the holes would be placed. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2024, we have the option to use existing 2D sketch. With this, we can go ahead and select the sketch that we made in our previous enhancement, and we'll see that it will automatically use the endpoints of that sketch without the need to add sketch points. We can also carry out and use instances of skip on those points as well. Next up is the ability to make and assembly a multi-body part. With this, we can go ahead and transfer over the bodies, surface bodies, material, and beyond. And we also have the option to break the link to the original assembly or keep it related. Once that's complete, you can see that we've transferred over to a part and you can see all of the bodies that were created from the individual parts in the assembly. In this case, they transferred over that material. This can be especially useful if you're trying to get an accurate mass and you're adding weld beads into your model. In an assembly environment, that's not possible, but in the part, we're able to carry that out on this multi-body part. Once these weld beads have added, they're just another body inside of that multi-body part to which a material can be applied. With this, we have the ability to jump into our mass properties and get an accurate mass. We can also jump back to that assembly. You can see now we're in that assembly environment, and then we can go ahead and update this assembly. Jumping back into the multi-body part and doing a rebuild, you'll see that that will stay in context of the assembly. Next up is a new option with linear patterns. In this case, we'd like to pattern this cut along the body of this part. So we'll go ahead and choose to pattern it along the direction of the front plane. We'll choose the cut as the feature to pattern. 
and move to our front face. Now that looks great for one direction, but I'd like that to be going in both directions. Instead of filling in the details for both directions, I can now just choose the symmetric checkbox. For our last enhancement in parts and features, we'll be taking a look at the untrim surface command. But first, we'll use the offset surface to make a copy of the front surface of this component. Once we have a copy of this surface, we'll jump into the untrim surface command. We'll choose that surface that we just made the copy of, and then turn on the exclude parent surface option, which is new in 2024. If we hide the body and the original surface copy, we can see that we have actual physical geometry for shutoff surfaces if you're carrying out injection molding. As a review, we're now able to take our SOLIDWORKS parts and save them to previous releases. We're also able to flip side for our cut revolves. We're able to create cylindrical bounding boxes instead of just rectangular. And we're able to get some sketch dimension previews which you're able to turn into actual smart dimensions. With the whole wizard, we're able to use existing sketch entities and skip instances as needed. We're also able to pattern in both directions with the symmetrical linear pattern option. Another feature new to 2024 is the ability to create physical geometry for shutoff surfaces. And then lastly, we're able to make multi-body parts from assemblies. A couple of things to note is that sketch dimension previews are a system option. With a save to previous release, it's only available for up to two previous releases, and you must remove non-compatible enhancements. And with the multi-body part, there are a number of benefits that weren't mentioned in this video, which are listed here. The ability to save to older version years is going to be a game changer. And that was just one of the many great enhancements to parts and features in SOLIDWORKS. Be sure to contact us if you're interested in learning more about getting up to date with the latest release of SOLIDWORKS. In our next video, we'll be taking a look at the improvements to SOLIDWORKS sheet metal and structure systems. So be sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified if you haven't already.